Growing up, I told myself that I didn't really put all my identity in being a soccer player. But deep down, I I did. I mean, you do. It's all you do. For so long, it's you're a soccer player. You score goals. You go to Michigan and because you play soccer. So until soccer was really taken away, I didn't really know who I was. The Michigan women's soccer team is off to a strong start this season, and Taylor Timko is leading the way. It's been a long road back for the redshirt junior, whose booming left leg went bust, but she tore ligaments in her right knee during the spring of 2016. Until then, Timko's legs had carried her athletic career. She was a two-time Miss Soccer runner-up for the state of Michigan during her prep career at Pontiac Notre Dame, where she scored 124 career goals. Timko was a three-sport athlete during her high school days, but she turned heads for her role on the football team, as in American football, where she spent two seasons as the team's place kicker. I think that was the coolest part, just using the platform as you can do anything you, you set your mind to. It doesn't matter, girl or boy, you know, young or old, if you want to do something and if you have a dream and a passion that you want to pursue, it's possible. Her first two seasons on the pitch at U of M were largely a success. She started 38 matches for the Maize and Blue, scoring 14 goals and adding 7 assists as the team won 12 matches each year. Then came the injury. I just stepped weird. Just a routine play, passing the ball around the back line, and I went to trap the ball, and um, yeah, my knee just kind of gave, and right away I knew. I heard the pop. It was kind of that soccer player's worst nightmare. And I think at that moment, Everything just kind of flashes, you know, you you think you're prepared for potentially having an injury, but until it actually happens and the soccer is actually taken away for a little while, you don't really realize what you have till it's gone. It would mark the beginning of what the biology major refers to as a learning year. Not all of her lessons had to do with soccer and injury recovery. Timka was part of a group of students who visited Vietnam in February of this year as part of the Let's Go Do program. A true experience of a lifetime. I'm so lucky to have been chosen to go on that trip with um, the other incredible student athletes. It was definitely a culture shock. Um, I think I learned just how different um, other ways of life are and how okay that is. How just because something is different doesn't mean it's wrong and doesn't mean that um, you know, what we do here in America is better than what's in Europe or Southeast Asia or anything like that. It's just, it's a different experience and people live differently and, and to be able to connect, it was an experience that I wish I could relive over and over just because it was so, so great. Throughout her whole recovery, she barely complained. Even if we saw her frustrated, she would never say anything. She, that's just kind of the kind of person she is. She stays super positive. She works hard, even though she gets frustrated, she keeps going. So rehab was just as mental as it is physical, if not more. Um, I would say the first few months were pretty hard just because I couldn't even walk to class or I mean for the first few weeks you can't really walk at all and then as you start to get able to you know be able to bike walk maybe jog a little every single week is is kind of like a birthday like something is new after a 16th month layoff Tim Co is back on the pitch for the Wolverines this August and it didn't take long for her to shake off the rust she scored in her first exhibition match against West Virginia, followed it up with a four-goal effort in a game against Western Michigan in U of M's preseason finale. 
Taylor hasn't missed a beat in games that count. She found the back of the net in each of her team's first three matches. Currently leads the Maize and Blue with eight points. So I think she's just kind of come back into a team that really fits her and, and brings out her strengths. And so it, it's, it's been a great situation. Taylor has done amazing things. And I mean, this is only the start. We're only at the beginning of our season. And I can't wait to see what else she does. But scoring all those goals and being the hard working player she is, she just brings our team up immensely. And we've missed her presence for sure the last year. You know, sometimes you sit out a year and you watch and you realize how much it means to you. And, and I've just seen a, a renewed focus in Taylor. Um, she's always been the kind of kid that gives you everything she has, but I see a maturity about her now. Um, the quality of her play has really improved, and, and that might be from kind of instead of always being in it, reflecting on it, and then realizing how to put yourself back into it and do really well. And I think the, the main thing that I learned um, just by sitting out was to apply Every single time I play from that time on, like it truly is the last moment I have on the field. Every game, it doesn't matter, big or small, Big Ten, non-conference, exhibition, if I am lucky enough to let alone, you know, to walk, let alone play soccer, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and I have to run with it because I never know. One step and I could be done again. With the women's soccer team, for mgoblue.com, I'm Anthony Paladano.